Good morning, everybody. It's Lisa Baker here at Serendipitous. Happy Thursday morning. Woo so this morning, this video is packed, filled with amazing, amazing new stuff. Some things that you might want to pick up for a gift, things to give you great ideals or inspire you to some creative juices that you need to get flowing. Guys, we are coming into the end of this year, which means holidays, um, all sorts of holidays. We've got Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and we know with Christmas that usually means gifts that we like to make or pick up. But no matter what's going on, there's always something here at Somedipitous for you. So some of the things I'm going to show you this morning um, is things that you've asked for, other things that you didn't even know that you needed in your life, but you might. I'm going to flip the camera and let's get right to it. Good morning, Miss Melissa. How are you doing? So this video is up. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to say different than most morning videos, but I do have a lot to throw in this morning. Typically, I try to stay on a one track thing, you know, a collection or books or patterns, whatever. But this morning is definitely much morning. Good, uh, more. Good morning, Miss Gladys. I see you on there. I'm seeing all the hearts and thumbs up. I'm going to flip and let's get right to what's new and exciting in the shop. Hold on. So, first of all, as you guys know, we're already in October, and this lovely book made the scene, I want to say, last year. Um, we were able to get some copies in for this year, for those of you that maybe missed the boat last year. So, this is a great little storybook. It is called The Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt, and it is written by, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, um, I'm going to say... Uh, Nason is the last name, not sure the first name. And then, of course, um, the illustration is by Brian. Super cute. This is a great story. This is a little hardback book. And basically, it tells the story of how all the other ghosts are sheets, but me, myself, and I am a ghost that is a quilt. It is so cute. Now, um, I know last year a lot of people made this little quilt just threw some scrappy patches together and gifted this to their grandkids or their children, and they're making it a annual tradition of reading The Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt. Absolutely love. I think it is a must-have, even if you don't have young youngsters in your life. So, now that we're on the mind frame of October, autumn, and fall, Let's look at this yumminess. Now, right here, um, you're going to see these lovely autumn fall corn stalks. Um, these are absolutely amazing. Um, these were gifted to me. I was so super excited for many reasons. Now, this right here was a cute little decoration. Oops, if I don't tear it up. That was outside of the gift bag. I just love how things out of nature just becomes an amazing decoration. But these little um, corn stalks, if you will, look at that, how cute. The reason these are so precious, now Mr. Bill Hope made these uh, for me and gifted these to me. There's three different types of corn here. Um, you know, that reminds me of the Indian corn. But look how he stained, um, he did tell me he used walnuts to stain this fabric to make the husk of these. But what I want to remind you guys about these so, if you don't remember, this was the Benetex fact, uh, Benetextures collection. So, he used there, that one is that corn. To me, I think it is simply amazing. I would never have thought in my life when I'm looking at this fabric of corn. Um, or, you know, the corn stalks in the autumn, but I think he absolutely did amazing. But anyway, these are just a few samples out of that Benner Texture collection. That fabric right there is that corn stalk. So I just wanted to show you guys that one because I think it's fabulous. And Mr. Um, Hope and his wife are always, um, bringing me something really cool made out of fabric, things that you wouldn't even think of. And I just wanted to share those with you. I absolutely love it. I see some hearts and thumbs up. I totally agree. Super cute. But that just goes to show when you look at some fabric, you see one thing and someone else sees something different. So I just wanted to point that out. 
Kim Wood says, those are cute. Great job. You are absolutely right, Miss Kim. He did an amazing, amazing job. So there we are on the Benner Textures. I'm going to slide that out of the way. Let's talk Lori Holt real quick. So those of you that are a Bee in My Bonnet or Lori Holt fan, just this week, uh, B Dots, her newest collection, um, just was released to the shops. Here is the five inch stackers, the 10 inch stackers of the B Dots collection. Now, you guys know me, I have the entire collection in the shop for yardage. There is 51 bolts in this collection. So, if you guys love some Lori Holt, you are going to love this collection. So, I just, um, wanted to show you these to remind you about the collection. I will give you a sneak peek of the collection once um, the yardage is actually processed and stuff. But we do have these already on the floor, so don't miss out and grab those. Here is another by Annie's uh, pattern that we was sold out. We've got them back in. We will be having a class on this, Miss Allison Swink, that does a lot of our bag classes. She has already got this in the making, so maybe keep your eye out for those dates. She did bring some lovely samples for us in the store. This pattern has four sizes, and she literally made samples of all four sizes, and they have the handles on them. So no matter how big you need your project bag to be, this pattern has all of the yummy sizes. So these are on the table display where the rest of the By Annie's trunk show is. Um, so definitely come in and check these out. We just got these out on the shelf this week for to be seen. Now, also we have another new stripology pattern in Lucy that is now available for the, those of you that love some stripology world. The cool thing on this is there's so many different ways to do the quilt layout. Like look at that. That looks totally different though it's the same blocks as this layout. Fabulous pattern. Um, you never know. There might be a class coming on that. We did get the Annie quilting, Christmas quilting book back in for those of you that missed out. So there is some really great Christmas patterns in here, but also some patterns that you could use any time of the year, not just Christmas. So that's back in. But... I'm going to flip back to me real quick. Now, I've been saving the best for last. So as you guys know, Steve is always designing um, new things. And he has been doing some uh, greeting cards, if you will, over the past, I don't know, probably six to seven months. He's done ones with cats and quilting, uh, kites and quilting, air balloons and quilting, the barn uh, quilts. Just amazing. Just recently, he released his 2023 Christmas edition cards, and you guys have been loving those. Those are on the website, but some of you asked for Santa because none of those had Santa doing quilts or anything quilting related to Santa in those Christmas cards. So he listened, and he created a few single versions all the other Christmas cards, they do come in a pack of 10, but he did do some individuals for you guys, and I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to flip the camera back real quick. Hang with me just for a couple more minutes. I told you this video was packed with lots of yumminess. So hold on. Here we go. So the cards are going to come individual. You can see how this is wrapped um, in cellophane. The envelope is there as well. And I'm just going to bump him. We're going to talk about him later. But I have some of the cards. Let me fix my stack. I have some of my cards as an individual, so hopefully the glare won't be as much. These are nice, nice size Christmas cards. These are the front. This is the back. Obviously, I just don't have them bent, but you can see there. So, you guys wanted some cabin fill Christmas. Here is the exterior of a cabin with an uh, old traditional sleigh, and it's filled with quilty gifts for all the friends and family absolutely love that. Now we go inside of the cabin and here we are. We've got a rocker that has some quilts tossed on the back, the pillows, and look how the cabin is decorated for Christmas. Absolutely love. This particular card, you can see the back. It's not white. It is just as beautiful as the front. Sorry, the um, cards themselves does have a gloss, so they are still given a glare, but 
Hopefully you can see these. Once again, these are individual. Steve has posted a link down in the comments of this video where you can purchase these individual cards. If you only have a, a, a person or two you send a card to and you don't need a whole pack of 10, these are it. Here's another in the cabin scene. Absolutely love. Once again, I love that there's a quilt wall hanging and all the chairs and rockers are just draped with quilts. I don't know about you, but this cabin makes me just want to settle in and, oh my gosh, just enjoy family food and maybe some sewing. Now, you guys loved the snowman, and of course, I wanted pink snowman, so here you go. Steve created this pink snowman. Absolutely love it. Yes, Kim, I agree. These cards are absolutely yummy. Look at the back of this card. That pink mist and snowflakes are carried out even on the back. Remember, the cards are blank for you to write your own message in. Absolutely love. Here's some more snowman and snowing machines. If you notice, that sewing machine says so indipitous on it. With this quilty background of the cabin, everything on this quilt, uh, card, excuse me, is quilted. And once again, look at the yummy back of this card. They are just a gift in themselves. Here we are with one more snowman scene. They're out in the woods. There's a little bit of snow falling. They all have their quilted scarves. But the funny thing is each snowman is quilted as well. Steve has outdone himself with these additional releases. I think is yummy. You can see the back of those cards as well. Here we're coming into Santa that you guys wanted. So Santa is at the tree placing gifts in. And of course, he's placing a quilt under the Christmas tree. Absolutely love. Look at the happiness on Santa's face. A true traditional Santa. Now, the back on this one has a beautiful ombre effect from yellows to orange reds to the deep red. Absolutely love, love, love. Here is another scene of Santa. He is actually sewing it up, guys. He's in his workshop just working away on gifts for us. I'm sure his elves are off somewhere doing the same. Absolutely love. He is concentrating on, it looks like maybe threading his needle or something. Or maybe he's quilting since he's faced on that end of the sewing machine. Absolutely love it. Here we are. He's probably putting the binding on the quilt uh, right before he's ready to head out. I love this picture because it looks like Santa is laying in bed doing his quilting and I love to uh, sit back and relax and put my binding on and look at all the Christmas trees in the background. I see the hearts flying. I am with you on that. Now, this is the one that I showed you that was in the clear wrapper. Look at all these stacks and stacks of Christmas. Uh, I mean, uh, they are Christmas gifts, but these quilts. Does this not feel like some of you ladies and gentlemen that are working feverishly for their grandkids or kids or maybe charity quilts right before the holidays? You're getting the last done. Look at the detail on Santa's outfit. He's kind of like Royal Santa. I absolutely love it. And then, of course... Um, you've got the Christmas tree in there. It's just nice and warm. And once again, here is Santa and all of his mischief on Christmas Eve, packing and toting away your gifts in silence. He's sneaking in while you're asleep, but look at Santa's outfit in this. He is absolutely adorable. He has got his quilted Santa suit on. Who doesn't love that? Super cute. Once again, the backing in all of these has different colors and ombre effects. So pretty. Here's another, and this looks like a more older Santa feel, like a colonial Santa. He's working away in his shop. He's got the candles going, so he has plenty of light to do all of his magical work. And outside, you can see the snow out the window. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Here's another one. Santa's tired. He has already went, delivered all of his gifts. He's got a big smile on his face. Very cartoon Santa here. He is resting on the couch, all curled up. I just absolutely love it. Now, we've got a few more left. You guys wanted some more uh, Christmas Village quilted scenes, and Steve has delivered on that as well. I love there's snow on the ground. But there's paths where the cars are driving. Absolutely cute. Here is the second one of that. Now, they are very different. You can see, like, the trees are different. All the houses is different. But they are both a beautiful quilted, quilted 
hometown scene. Now, I think, I think you guys know this guy. So, a lot of you were like, I need so hot and rock kill on a Christmas card. So, Steve has delivered, and of course, this one, he has hashtag so hot at Christmas. So, this is our little gentleman we've got hanging in the shop right now for you guys to take photo ops. I see the hearts and thumbs up. I think it is absolutely cute. He has a different jacket on in this one than he does in the other one. So cute with his little Christmas tree, his quilt in the background. Absolutely love it. Now, the funny thing is, here is his cousin. Um, look real close. You can see the facial is different. Two different guys. Once again, another quilted jacket there. So... Maybe you've got Mr. Hot Guy and you want his cousin. I see the thumbs up and the laughter. Um, so super cute. But anyway, Steve just thought you guys would enjoy that because you guys asked for Mr. So Hot and Rock Kill on a Christmas card, and now you have it. You can send your quilty friends um, this card for sure. Last but not least, guys, you loved the stars in the um, Snowbird cards. So Steve has created a couple of the Christmas cards that has a quilted star in it. The snow is falling. And these, let me pull these two out for sure. Both of these have the nice little birds because you all did say that you love birds and Christmas cards um, because they represent a lot of things for you. So super cute scenes there. Absolutely love. And look at this little bird. Oh my gosh, is he not adorable? And then once again, you've got the full quilted scene with the quilty star for um, uh, all your beautiful Christmas memories. And of course, the star that guided the three wise men to the baby Jesus. That is such a perfect representation Repre of the star. So guys, there you have it. I feel like I have shown you a million things today. Once again, some of these products um, have just landed. Some of them you have asked to be returned. And then some you have asked for Steve Create and he did. I just hope once again, um, you've received ideas and inspiration. And once again, a big shout out to Mr. Bill Hope um, and his wife, Karen, for those lovely, lovely autumn corn stalks that we showed at the beginning of this video. And um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned in this morning. I know we're a little bit longer than normal, but I had so much to share with you and so much more. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on this video. And if not, pop in the shop today. We're here to five. And then tomorrow is uh, 10 to five because tomorrow is Friday. And then, of course, Saturday is 10 to three. Guys, thank you so much for all the love and support, the hearts, the thumbs up. And I will see you soon. But for now, this is Lisa Baker. It's so indipitous where unexpected happiness truly is found in every stitch. Be blessed, guys. Bye.